What's going on guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ellie Roots. And together, together we are Rally Roots. <laughs> hey, today we're doing a garage sale wars. Ah! I know you guys, or a lot of you guys anyway, have seen our thrift war series that we've done. Well, today is garage sale wars and we have special guests. So probably one of our favorite YouTube couples slash power reseller couples is uh, Side Hustle Pros. It's Chaz and Trista. Chaz. Trista. They're awesome people. Their channel is awesome. They're just cool people. Go check them out. Anyway, so we kind of called them out uh, last week and we were like, let's do a garage sale wars. So this is the deal. We got, we've got 50 bucks, Ooh. 50, $50. And the rules are basically we got to go out to garage sales and find stuff that we can make money on that we could sell on eBay or Amazon. $50 is the limit. And the couple with the highest gross profit at the end of the day wins. So Chaz and Trista, they're in Oregon. Um, but what's so cool about this challenge is that we wanted to do it too so that you guys can see this can be done from a lot of different places. It's not just because we're in Florida that we're able to do this garage sailing gig. They're in Oregon and they find stuff all the time. So what we'll do is throughout the day today, I'll flash from us to them, from them to us, and we'll show what we found, how much we paid for it, and how much we can sell it for. That'll so be cool. it should be fun. And then the, the person or the couple who wins um, gets bragging rights. <laughs> There's no prize on the line, but it should be really fun, guys. So come with us and let's see what we can find. What's up, guys? Chaz and Trista here accepting the challenge from Ryan and Allie over at Rally Roots. Ryan hit me up, said, hey, Let's do some garage sale wars. We're known for doing a few garage sales ourselves. Yeah. So we have a limit of 50 bucks and we're gonna see who can find the highest total revenue. I don't know if I can stick to 50 bucks. 50 bucks is tough. <laughs> so we have to be very picky on the things that we find. Up here in Oregon, we're actually at the tail end of our garage sale season before the rainy season kicks in. So this happened on a perfect week that we we're gonna go out anyways. <laughs> Titus, you gonna say hi? <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna go drop little man off at grandma's and we're gonna go see what we can find. Woo! Number one, let's do work. <laughs> that sucked. I found three Nintendo 3DS games, one of which was Super Smash Bros. The other two were Super Mario 1 and 2. Offered three bucks a piece. They're worth at least 20 each. And it turns out the cases were empty. It was her daughter who dropped them off and she doesn't know where the games are. Awesome. All right, off to our first garage sales. We got our handy dandy yard sale treasure map. Yard sale treasure map. It looks like, actually there's not a, there's not a ton. It's been raining a lot in Florida. So I think a lot of people have been like not doing their garage sales, but there are a few. Yeah, whenever I looked at the weather online, it did say rain this morning. So maybe people that were gonna have their garage sales aren't, but maybe, maybe they woke up and they will. Either we'll way, see. we're coming for you guys. 50 bucks, I'm gonna buy a car. <laughs> so for three grand. I'm just gonna run up and throw fifty dollars at someone and take their car. Does that count? It do counts. we do we win? It definitely counts. <laughs> Is that South African massive? Yeah, it's a, called a borable. Oh Dutch word. yeah. Farm farm dog. dog. Yeah. I was born in Durban. Oh so you know yeah. farm dog. Yeah. How much are the staplers? I have how many are you oh. looking for? Just one? All of them. So there, cool. that'd be they, 12. They're from Vietnam. Like 20 for all of them. How's that sound? That's awesome. 15. 10. 12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first sale we went to was a bit of a success. Allie's back there strapping in an elephant. Nice and safe and sound. We bought elephant tables for ourselves. Um, we picked up some staplers and a Victoria's Secret bag. We'll, what we'll do is we'll show you guys everything that we bought at the end of the day. That way we can add up the total and see what we um, spent and what we should be able to make. Had a good little score on this clue. This is factory sealed. They wanted eight bucks. I offered four. They took it. This was three bucks, pristine condition, everything on the inside. They wanted three, I offered two, they took it. So those should be worth at least 20 bucks each.
Ooh. Allie found a purse. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, one more time. Ooh. <laughs> Garage sale is going okay. It's, uh, it's a, what time is it? That's fast. It's 9.37 a.m. right now. We've actually bought a few things, so we're doing all right. We're gonna keep going and see what else we can find. So this guy's good. Four bucks. And look what we just found for five bucks. The creepiest spanky monkey. <laughs> I'm just I am totally getting this. State sale was pretty good. Picked up that bag, creepy monkey. Trista scored these really good condition Nike Vapor Jet gloves. Pro tip, bring protein shakes when you're garage sailing or power bars or something that's uh, that you can eat so that you're not hangry and so that you're, <laughs> and so that you're not out getting like gross junk food while you're, uh, you know, garage sailing. Or spending your profits on gas station food. True! <laughs> What did you find in this one? Christmas ornaments. Ooh. How much did you pay for that whole box? Two dollars. Two bucks. Trista found her favorite flip in the world. Plushies. So now we're hitting the duds. Usually by the 11 o'clock hour for us, we usually start to hit the duds. Uh, it's the tail end of our garage sale season, but we are not giving up. No. We're gonna keep going until we find some good stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Go find treasure. Finally got the score I wanted. 10 bucks, PS2 Slim. Usually goes for about 40 plus on those. Picked up this VCR Panasonic. This recently sold for 42. And good old Rudolph coffee mug. We'll see how much that goes for. <laughs> There's wifey. Ma'am, you're in the middle of the road. No playing Frogger today. Yep. Find anything? Nothing. Dud. Just I'm like finding a nice box of remotes. If you guys don't know already, I always check the model numbers on these. Picked out a few good ones. We found a sale, it says barn sale. It sounds interesting. Yeah, the area we live in, we have suburbs, we have big pieces of half acre properties, quarter acre properties, and townhouses, a lot of apartment communities. So our it's area- a Strange mix. Yeah, we have a lot of dense areas and pretty spread out areas. So sometimes we get barn sales. Yeah, let's go see it. Yay. All right. The barn sale was a success. We got a whole bunch of clothing, a ton of ugly sweaters, an Ed Hardy hat, Damn. <laughs> and a couple jackets. So I think we're gonna call it here. It's uh, it's about 11.30 right now, um, but we've definitely spent more than 50 bucks. So we're gonna head home. We'll add everything up and we'll, we'll choose basic, we'll choose things up to 50 bucks to make it fair. Um, and we'll see what our total profit is, or total gross profit is. Um, and then we'll compare that to Chaz and Trista and see who the winner is. Oh, and I gotta subtract some of the things I bought myself. <gasps> I bought myself stuff? What? What? <laughs> so unlike Allie. Hmm, <laughs> strange. <laughs> Alright guys, heading home and we'll see what we got. Whee. All right, guys, we're back home. Home. Hall time. Two new pops right there. <laughs> you didn't take them out of the box yet. <laughs> I haven't taken them out of the box yet. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We'll show you guys our haul. I'll probably flash in between the stuff that we're showing you and the stuff that Chaz and Trista are showing you guys. Um, so I'll flash like back and forth so we can both show you guys what we got and how much we feel the items will sell for. Um, and then at the end, we'll get the total and see who won. So here we go. Ooh. What's the first thing? Garage sale wars. Garage sale wars. <laughs> Victoria's Secret backpack. Pick this baby up for a dollar. Nice. It's one of those freebies, but they were selling pretty well online whenever I looked up all the different comps. So paid a dollar, what's the comp on that? The comp on this is $25. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah. Cool. Shockingly so. All right, so we're officially back home. Yay. Got our stuff. I will say this was not our best haul. 
Yeah. That's for sure. Again, we're on the tail end of our garage sale season, but we still got a few items and one including, I don't even have any idea what it's <laughs> worth, but we're gonna throw it in here anyway. It's like the best and worst thing you've ever seen. Just wait. We'll show you. Go ahead. So number one find was the Acuvar uh, DSLR backpack for four bucks. Uh, this thing is in mint condition. Based on the sold listings, this thing is selling new for about $30. Pretty confident just because it is literally mint condition, I can get 25 out of it. So we're gonna call that one a $4 buy cost to a $25 flip. The last sale that we went to, that barn sale, um, we picked up a bunch of clothing uh, we got everything together for 25 bucks, so we're going to include that as our, you know, part of our haul. Um, we got a whole bunch of Christmas sweaters, which honestly, it's the best time to get the Christmas sweaters, the ugly Christmas sweaters, because we throw those up around Christmas time, and they honestly do sell really well for us. So let's show them a couple of the Christmas sweaters we got. Yeah, so we ended up getting 12 ugly Christmas sweaters. All of them are different, all of them are unique. They all have that like nice embroidery and stuff on them. They're hideous. They're really good, ugly this Christmas one. sweaters. Oh. Ooh, baby, I love that. <laughs> so we told the people when we were buying them, like we would just take them all and have an ugly Christmas sweater party, which we may still do that. We might just have an ugly Christmas sweater party and then sell them afterwards, but. Maybe we'll make our friends model them and do a photo shoot yes. and then sell them via photo yes. shoot pictures on eBay. Some of the ugly sweaters that we've sold in the past on eBay, we've got like 30, sometimes 40 bucks for them. But for the sake of this, we're going to say an average of 15 bucks a sweater. Um, so that works out to $180 just in sweaters, which is pretty cool. And with this, the name brand isn't really something that matters. It no. doesn't really factor in so much when it comes to Christmas time with the ugly Christmas sweaters. Some of them may be good brands right. for selling and they might be worth more, which we'll figure that out. But ugly oh. Christmas sweaters, we're just going to say 15 bucks a piece yeah. because they're all the brands. It, they're just all varied. But you're right, the brand doesn't matter with ugly Christmas sweaters, it's all about that design. <laughs> the uglier, the better. Yeah. So we got those at the, at the sale, um, and then we also got, we also got this Ed Hardy hat. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, do I look like a chucker? Totes. Those things used to be so popular back in the day, but <laughs> they don't sell for much anymore. We'll probably get around 15 bucks for that hat. Could be the cover. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we got a really nice Toomey Tech jacket. I think you guys have seen us buy this brand in the past, Toomey. It's a really good, um, I think they do, mostly they do like bags and luggage and stuff, but the, the jackets do sell really well for us, especially the tech. The Toomey Tech jacket we're saying 30 bucks on. And then we got this really nice J. Crew green long woman's jacket. Um, it's really nice, super good condition, a nice high quality jacket. And J. Crew is a good brand to resell for outerwear. Um, so we will get between like 30 to 40 bucks for this jacket. So all in all at that barn sale, we paid 25 bucks for everything. We had to negotiate a little bit, but 25 bucks for everything and we'll gross around 265 bucks just Yay. from that stuff. So really good buys there. And funny enough, that lady said that she used to be an eBay reseller yeah. and that she is now tired and no longer wants to do yeah. it. So we were like, awesome, show us your good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I found a pair of Nike Vapor Jet gloves. I think they're soccer gloves. They're like brand new. Uh, I paid $2 for them, and I think I can get between 18 and 20. So, okay. Not bad. Next up is going to be these controllers that you guys saw. So, I ended up picking three of these out. She wanted a dollar for all three, so I was more than happy to pay 33 cents a piece. Starting from these two are worth about $14.99 each based on the sold listings and then this guy's gonna be worth about $12. Picked up a little Banana Republic dress. Nothing super exciting. It's just a nice dress. I bought it for $4 and they're around $25 so I'm happy with that. $4 to $25. We'll take it. We'll take it. Y'all know I love my old electronics especially 90s and early 2000s style camcorders so I picked this guy up. 10 bucks, includes a charger. I have plenty of extra RCA cables, all that good stuff that can go with these things. So this is gonna be a really good flip. I'm actually gonna do this one on Amazon, which is where I do a lot of my electronics. Based on the current stats, this thing is worth at least $100. After fees and shipping, I should see at least $80 back. So about a $70 profit if I price on the low end. What's in the bag? This is a cool thing. Uh, we do like to look out for these old video cameras. 
Some of them sell really, really well on Amazon. And this one's this one's good. It's got the flip up. Look at that. <laughs> it has, yeah, it's the old super VHS. It has little little cassettes, yeah. Um, so the model of this one is it's a JVC camera. The model number is GR-XX. Sorry. GR-SXM161U. And they are, there's a few listed used on Amazon for around like, I think like 150 bucks. Whoa. Um, but to be fair, what we'll do is we'll just make, first we'll make sure it works. Um, and then we'll make sure everything's there, which I'm pretty sure it is because it came in the bag, the charger and everything's there. The and batteries are here. And a random remote. And a random That's remote. A Polaroid <laughs> remote. Uh, but yeah, so we'll make sure everything's there. We'll test the item. Um, and then probably we'll send it to Amazon and we'll we'll get around a hundred bucks for it is what we'll say. So really decent find there. We paid three dollars for this item. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I didn't even realize what it was until I got it home. I just saw North Face and jacket and it's in a great con in super great condition. So I just bought it. It was four bucks. So I got it home. It's this really nice North Face. I'm just thinking like heavy windbreaker jacket, but no, it's not. I'm over it here is. doing some work and all I hear is a scream from over here. <gasps> <gasps> ah! So it's a hide a hood. You can tuck the hood inside. It is a really nice snowboard jacket with the um, vents on the armpits. This thing has pockets everywhere. It's in awesome shape too. It's in excellent condition and um, the way I know it's definitely a snowboard jacket is this waistband. I hope that this is not a great way to show people but this <laughs> waistband. That's what you get right now. <laughs> right. This waistband hugs around your your hips and um, fits really snugly so that when you're snowboarding it's not moving around it's not getting snow up into your into your jacket. So anyway. Snuggly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So I paid four dollars for it. I think I can get between forty and fifty dollars. The comps weren't specific in one place or another, so I'm just gonna price it at fifty and see what it does. <clears throat> Sorry. What are you doing? I'm just looking at my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, video games. I always love to just check these out. This was in a box for three bucks. I offered two. She took it. So two bucks. These are selling pretty consistently. This condition which is mint condition has the manual everything with it the case for about 18 to 19 dollars so two to 19 i'm definitely happy with okay this is a brand that i have no idea about <laughs> <laughs> but i looked them up while i was garage sailing and we do that tons like we mm. basically spend our whole garage sale whatever just like with our our noses in our phones and i'm sure people are thinking like what are they doing yep. we don't care this is what we do. Anyway, so this is a brand called uh, Onitsuka Tiger. I don't know. They're so cute <laughs> and they're my size. This is so hard. <laughs> this is the worst part about reselling is that you find these really great deals and I just think like maybe I should keep it for myself. She conveniently shops in her own size. It's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, these are adorable. They do have a tiny bit of wear on them. Um, the comps were all new, so that's hard to look up, but I think I can get between $30 and $40 for these. I paid five, so I'm okay with that. We'll take it. Next item, guys, is this Dooney and Burke purse. We usually only buy a Dooney and Burke purse if it's vintage. Mm -hmm. And in really good condition. Yep. Condition's really important on those bags because people do use them a lot. Like the ladies that we found that have these bags, especially the older ones, you need to just check to make sure they're not really worn out. Yeah, and it has to be really cheap. Like if somebody yeah. wants 15 bucks for it, it's not gonna yeah. be the, the profit like at all. This one actually started out at 15 bucks and we worked them down to eight bucks. So pretty mm -hmm. good buy there. I just asked her really nicely. She had a lot of stuff that she wanted to get rid of and so she took eight. Um, but the thing about this purse is it needs some cleaning. So yes, I will clean it, but I found the exact comp for it, which was really, really great. And on top of that, I looked at the for sale listings, which mm -hmm. is really important with Dooney and Burke because you don't want to sell a Dooney and Burke purse if the market is oversaturated. Right. Because that's just going to drop the value tremendously. And there were none just like it mm -hmm. listed currently. So it's a crossbody. Crossbodies are really well, what's in. what's the comp? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <I was still laughs> 
The comp is $53. Nice. Okay. So eight bucks spent $53 gross profit on that purse. Nice. Yeah. Babe. But I just want to teach people a little bit about Dooney and Burke because sometimes you'll pass it over or you'll buy it for 15 and wish you had it. Yeah. So you would definitely walk past this. I can guarantee you would walk past this. But you shouldn't because these actually sell for quite a bit. We love to sell vintage electronics. Of course, we'll test it, make sure everything works. This is a portable cassette recorder. Um, it's kind of big and bulky, but we paid three dollars for it, and it's going to turn into thirty-five. Not terrible. Don't walk past these. Oh, and a great way to figure out if these are really worth something is to look them up by their model number. They're always on here somewhere, usually on the back in the black, you know, it's all kind of raised writing. You can find the model number. Next up, good old PlayStation 2. This is the slim version, and this was inside of a box with a bunch of games, extra controllers, all the stuff that I did not want. I just wanted this. They were wanting 25 for the whole thing, and I said, would you take 10 bucks if I just take this and the controller and the power cord that goes with it? Fortunately for me, that was a great deal because these flip for an easy 40 bucks. Okay. You guys. Oh my gosh. Here's what we found <laughs> that I can't find anything on. I can't find the comps. I know about what I can get minimum, but check this out. This is very easily the creepiest thing you've it's... ever seen in your life. So if you don't know what this is, it's called Spanky the Monkey. From what I have researched, I know that this was a gag gift because it's literally a monkey that you attach to things that it will hump. <laughs> So I checked uh, gemmy.com, it's G-E-M-M-Y.com. They don't even sell this thing anymore. All I know is it was sold in the Spencer's Gag Gift store and they haven't been selling them for over two years. So this can be worth a lot of money or it can be worth nothing. <laughs> I'm fairly confident that, especially in eBay world because people buy weird stuff, I'm pretty confident we can get at least fifty dollars out of this, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that as our number. And uh, if I fall completely short, I will bow back down to Ryan, giving back that fifty bucks that I said I can get out of this. <laughs> right. Um, I don't want this anywhere near me in the garage. <laughs> Look at this thing. I just don't even know. <laughs> what do you think? New, new background? No, I don't want it anywhere near me. I'm gonna bury it. So the only reason I bought this was because it was five bucks. I figured yeah. worst case scenario, if I sell it for 20 bucks and they pay for shipping, I'm still making a little bit of money. <laughs> this was just one of those finds. I had to be able to say that I flipped a Spanky the monkey. So those were our finds for today. Um, again, the monkey, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just gonna call that. I want 50 bucks out of it. I'll drop I'll drop down to 40 uh, for, the, for the little game we're playing here. <laughs> Um, but at the end of the day, we spent 50 bucks as our limit, and we are coming out with a gross revenue, potentially, of course, of about $400. Nice. So we're definitely excited for everything that we pulled out today. Yep, and of course, you can't always bank on that you're going to sell everything for what you think you're going to sell it for. That's why you make a lot of wiggle room in your pricing. If you buy something, make sure that you can buy it low enough that you can at least double your money. I am super excited about this item. I don't really know too much about it or what it's going to go for, but it's really cool. Ryan also couldn't figure out how to open it. I couldn't. So here it is, guys. It is a Johnny Walker Blue Label Porsche Design case. So Johnny Walker whiskey is a very high, especially the Blue Label, is a very high-end, very expensive whiskey. This obviously doesn't have the whiskey in it. It's just the case, but... It's got you like, like Johnny Walker. I don't mind it. It's oh, okay. okay. It's not your favorite. It's got two buttons on the side here. That's how you open it. And you pull that lid off. There you go. Ta-da. And then check it out. Inside would be the a place for the bottle, a place for glasses, and a place for tongs. And then the top of it turns into Ooh. an ice bucket. It's a really cool thing. Fabulous design. Wow. And you can see there's a plaque down here that says designed by Porsche uh, or Porsche Design Studios. The reason I got so excited about it, first it was a dollar, we paid a buck for it. 
Second, there's there's nothing out there really with about this um, this particular item. There's one listed for sale on eBay right now, and it's not this one. It's just the single bottle yeah. Johnny Walker one. So it only holds one bottle. It doesn't do the ice bucket or anything like that. And that one's listed for I believe $150 plus 50 shipping. It was like 200 bucks, right? Greedy. Whoa. And it, <laughs> and it had watchers on it. So I don't know. There's no sales on it, but. I'm gonna say conservatively this thing's worth a couple hundred bucks. I think probably what we will do is put it up for auction, maybe start mm. it around $99 plus shipping and see what happens. But I feel like a collector is gonna buy this item. I have a feeling it's probably gonna go overseas. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's in decent condition. There's a few little marks on the leather. Um, this is all leather, by the way. Maybe we'll save it for closer to Christmas time. Maybe. Because people will splurge yeah. on Christmas presents. Yeah. But I'm gonna say, like I said, at least 200 bucks on this item. It was a nice, nice find for a dollar. I actually forgot about one item or a bunch of items. <laughs> this was from the first garage sale that we went to. It's a bunch of swing line smart touch staplers. Um, I saw a box of six of them and the guy was like, I have six more new in the box if you want those as well. Um, he wanted 20 bucks yeah. for them and we worked them down to 12 bucks. Um, and these things, they're selling for about 10 bucks a piece on eBay. On Amazon, they're listed for $8.99. So that's the number that we're going to go with. So for we got 12 of them for $12 um, and that'll gross us around $108 on Amazon. Two and boxes of six. Two boxes of six. And remember guys to keep your Amazon app or your FBA scan app out. So if something has a barcode and it's new, you can quickly oh. just scan it. <laughs> You're showing them yeah. you're handing it to me. <laughs> you can quickly just scan it and see what the item's gonna sell for. That is pretty cool. So there you go. That's another $108. I'll say scan me, see how much I'll sell for. <laughs> Negative money. So for the competition guys, there you go. We spent exactly $50 and our gross revenue on that 50 bucks spent 748 bucks so That's i think amazing we, i think we did really well I'm, we're not sure yet how uh, chaz and tristan yet did but to spend 50 bucks and crush out 748 i'm pretty stoked on that so that's cool we also found stuff for ourselves today so we that did. was pretty cool yeah allison found some really cool elephant tables we paid 20 bucks for for both of them mm -hmm, for both of them 20 bucks for both of them they're the nice big ceramic uh elephant tables they go for a hundred dollars plus new and they're so. from vietnam and they're, they're from so vietnam. cool they're very cool tables there's one in our office right now i'm looking at it <laughs> And then some other stuff that we found that wasn't included in the competition. Lularoe leggings. We don't have tons of those, <laughs> but these ones are really cool, unique pattern. It's the Chihuahua Taco Bell dog. Nice. And what, like 20 bucks for those used? Yeah, $22. Nice. And then we picked up these, some shape up shoes, some Skechers shape up and some curves for women's shoes. We do well with these. We'll get like 20, 25 bucks a pair for those. So that's cool. They were two bucks each. And we will need to clean those. Yes. And then lastly, a really nice little uh, woman's North Face jacket. The North Face is a really good brand. The North Face jacket. The North Face jacket. It's nice, it's alley size. I don't know if you should keep this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it on, guys. We'll probably get like 30 bucks for this jacket if Allison doesn't keep it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Try it on. We should have everyone leave in the comments below if I should keep it. Leave a comment if Allie should keep the jacket. Let's see. Oh, what do you think? Is it too small? I think it's my size. Is it nice? Do you like it? Hmm, I don't know, babe. What did you get this week? You got a Patagonia jacket already. I don't know if you should keep another North Face jacket. I probably don't need it. Oh, it matches elephants. my the North Face rain jacket that I bought. <laughs> It does match the your North the North Face jacket. <laughs> Just gonna hang out in this. Well, hold on, let me put well, it Don't I feel way. fancy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. That's all we got today. <laughs> Christmas tank. I'm rocking the Christmas tank right now. What do you think? You like it? Should I keep this and I get the North Face jacket? <laughs> you have to wear that. I might just wear it. I have high expectations. <laughs> Oh my god! You went out in public in Chris during Christmas. I think people would dig it. Oh man, I'm feeling fresh. 
Shout out again to Chaz and Tristan. This was fun, guys. It's really cool. If anybody else wants to do a Garage Sale Wars with us, I think we're going to make this a little mini series. It was a lot of fun to go and That was a lot compete. of fun. It was. And today was a really successful day, but it not was. all days are. It was tough to like mm -hmm. only spend 50 bucks because you want to buy a bunch of stuff. But like you can see, we didn't only spend 50 bucks. <laughs> Um, it is fun guys to go out there and try to like really haggle and try to make your money, you know, make your money work well. Um, yeah. But yeah, we did really well. I'm happy. Thanks again to Chaz and Trista. Side Hustle Pros is their YouTube channel. Definitely go check them out. We're all about the couple hustle. <laughs> couple hustle. All right, so we want to give a huge shout out to Rally Roots. Woo. Thank you guys for Thank uh, you bringing guys. us on. Fun little challenge. Yeah. I think we'll be uh, accepting a little few more of these. For sure. Yeah, it was so fun just in the back of our minds thinking like, I wonder what Ryan and Ellie are getting right now. <laughs> The cool part about limiting to 50 bucks because we usually, I mean, we do this for a living, so we'll go out and spend upwards of two or $300 on a really good garage sale weekend. And the fact that we had to limit down to 50 bucks, it really makes you try to stretch those dollars. You get really good at negotiating a lot of those deals. We didn't pay full price for a lot of this stuff that we have here today. And also, I think we might have passed up on a few things that we were just maybe a little unsure of. Maybe mm -hmm. they weren't as good as of buys as we knew we could get down the road or we gotten just the garage sale before. So we passed it up because we knew that we had to stretch that $50 for the whole day. And we actually ended up staying out about two hours later than usual because yeah. usually by the time we see that dip in garage sale time, for us it's about 11, 11.30 a.m. We usually just call it quits, go grab lunch, but we stayed out until well past one just because we knew we had to stretch those dollars. So that was an awesome little challenge just to kind of push us too. For sure. Thank you Rally Roots for the garage sale challenge. Hopefully this was fun for you. It was definitely fun for us. Oh yeah. You guys, thank you again. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Thumbs us up. Share it with your friends and enemies. And, and frenemies. And frenemies. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. I am Ryan Roots. And I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Ooh. That was a perfect, Dang. perfect fist. I wanted to go burn. <laughs> see you guys. Peace.